From your S7 project, select your station and double-click Hardware. In the Hardware Configuration Editor, select the Options menu. Choose Edit Catalog Profile and enlarge the window for a better view. To begin creating your profile, pick an element such as the power supply for the S7300. Widen the columns so you can see the order numbers. Let's pick the bottom 5 amp power supply, order number 6ES7307-1EA01-0AA0 and drag it to the bottom window. Now select the CPU 300. Drop down the Profinet CPU 315-2PNDP. Highlight the order number. We will choose 6ES7 315-2EH14-0AB0. Select the version number, in our case version 3.2, and drag it to the lower window. Drop down the Signal Module 300 folder. Let's choose Digital Input Module 300. We will choose the digital input 32-bit, 24-volt module whose order number is 6ES7-321-1BL00-0AA0 and drag it to the bottom window. Let's select a digital output module. We will select the digital output 16-bit, 24-volt, 0.5-amp module with order number 6ES7-322-1B801-0AA0 and drag it to the lower window. Next, we will select Digital Input, Digital Output 300. We will choose the Digital Input 8, Digital Output 8 with order number 6ES7-323-1BH01 dash 0 AA0 and drag it to the lower window. Now let's select an analog input module. Choose the analog input 2 channel with order number 6 ES7 331-7KB02-0AB0 0 0 and drag it to the lower window. We will now close the Somatic 300 folder and open the Profinet IO folder. Drop down Network Components. Let's select a Scalant switch. Drop down Scalance X200. Drop down Scalance X208. And select the Scalant switch 6GK5 208-0BA10-2AA3. Choose version 4.2 and drag it to the lower window. Drop down the I.O. folder. Drop down ET200S. Interface modules such as the IM151-3 have a set of subfolders containing compatible modules in them. So for this element, we will drag down the entire IM151-3 collection from the left window instead of a single element from the right window. The profile is now complete. Let's save it. We will name it My Profile. Click OK. Close the Profile window. In the Hardware Configuration Editor, drop down the Profiles field. Choose My Profile. Here's the profile we just created. Drop down next to the IM151-3. Here are the folders containing the modules that are compatible with the IM151-3. This concludes the video on how to make a custom hardware profile.